Hello and welcome. My name is Mark Newman. I'm Chief Analyst at TM Forum. And I'm here today with the uh, delivery team from BT Openreach and Tech Mahindra. Uh, and we're, um, we're talking about a really interesting um, OSS transformation project uh, relating to BT Openreach. So more specifically with me today is uh, Shamil Shah, Head of Engineering at BT. Hello, Shamil. Hi, Mark. Kish, Kishore Dewangan, Senior, Senior Manager, Software Engineering at BT India. Uh, hi, Kishore. Hello, Mark. And Diraj Gupta, Head of Delivery within Tech Mahindra. Hello, Diraj. Okay, thank you. So, um, I think it might be useful, Shamal, if you can just get things going by giving a brief introduction to uh, the Open Reach division of BT, uh, what it does, uh, and some of its key business challenges and opportunities. Sure, Mark. So, Open Reach is part of BT Group PLC and it's in UK's digital network business. With around uh, 30,000 plus people, uh, we provide last mile connectivity over fiber and copper. Uh, our mission is to build the best possible network with the high quality service and making sure that everyone in Britain can be connected. We work on behalf of more than 600 communication provider like of Sky, TalkTalk, Vodafone, and BT. And our fiber broadband network is the biggest in the UK. We are passing more than 27 million premises. We are also the platform for Britain's thriving digital economy, which is the largest in G20. That's about the open reach. Thank you. And we're here to talk about an OSS transformation project. So what specifically were the, the OSS challenges that, 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 that BT OpenReach faced? Sure. So as OpenReach is laying down a vision to roll out the FTTP at a scale. And when I look back at around 2018-19, uh, OpenReach was start rolling out FTTP at scale to achieve 25 million THP with 12 billion GBP of investment. It required us to scale our FTTP rollout speed by 3x to 5x at a reduced price point. We were planning to increase our field force to achieve this target. It was very important to have process and solution which able to scale up with predictability. Thank you. I, 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 sorry, you, you carry on channel. Sorry, I hadn't finished. Yeah, our OSS tech was legacy in nature, built on Quartz product with no service exposure and unable to scale for the volume. Also, GI was really being the poor user experience. And due to no service exposure, it was requiring field engineer to keep calling desk for building and commissioning of the network. This was reducing speed of the job, also increasing the cost and adding on a frustration for our field force. Also, as we were scaling up for the FTTP network, it was important to ensure that diversification is part of it for the future sustainability and our OSS solution was making it far more difficult to introduce new network component. Also, as our inventory quality was poor, network operation team was relying on vendor specific network solution than OSS for various activities, which would have been resulted in fragmented, slower and costly network operation, leading to a poor customer experience. This is where after considering all various options of build versus buy, we decided to start with SRIMS, which stands for Service Resource Inventory Management System journey as our in-house open source OSS platform. Thank you, Shamal. Kishore, if I can just turn to you. Um, Shamal then started talking about the SRIMS project. Can you talk us through the, the how of the SRIMS project and, and the engagement with Tech Mahindra? Sure, sure, Mark. So, Open Sims project, uh, it's beautiful, um, but at the same time, very much challenging. It's a transformation journey from a legacy uh, logical inventory system, which was built onto the MDOX Kerma product. The Open Edge logical inventory system called uh, Open Edge Sims, which is based on open source technology, including Java, Spring, and Hibernate. Oracle RDBMS was chosen as a database. 
Its microservices based, highly scalable, geographically resilient, and an active active architecture. Open Shims is a future proof product with a simple and optimized fulfillment process, which was developed keeping in mind all the four principles of human centered design. It addressed all the challenges from the legacy inventory system and make it efficient for the open each five scale program and also offers reduced DEX function via the API first approach for the service exposure. The existing legacy system had been in place for the 15 years supporting NG and Ethernet product. To ensure the smooth data migration from the, uh, from the legacy system to the new system and a seamless cutover to happen, the detailed and meticulous planning was done to ensure functional accuracy was achieved and also to cater the non-functional requirement. The key feature of the transformation strategy, which are now standardized and are qualified as a best practice for every open reach IT transformation initiative. I would like to call a few uh, gateway for the control product. The gateway is a concept which controls the request flowing into the new and an existing system in a coexistence space. This was essential for us to enable the order application and mirroring to ensure the data accuracy. If I touch base more onto the order application, which is nothing but a mirroring, using the gateway's routing mechanism, all the transactions from the existing system were replicated near real time onto the new system. This enabled us to validate the functional accuracy of the new system, which is underbuilt. Another concept what we induced is a chaos engineering, which is nothing but assault based testing. A new tool called a Raptor, which stands for random assault on a performance test for operational readiness, was designed for performance testing to create a stability and a resiliency through the destructive mode of our testing. And it helped us to better understand the system failure and help us to proactively fix it before we roll it on. The coverage, while the mirroring approach helped us assessing the functional coverage and an accuracy, the code coverage was also measured using the framework such as Jacopo. The CICD pipeline and the DevOps pipeline were at the onset at the right from the inception of the project and we used all the way agile methodologies. That's how we have moved forward and, and, and that's where we got a tech minder team engaged for us to co-source and make it happen. Thank you very much, Kishore. Uh, Diraj, if I can just um, turn to you, could you give us some insights into some of the key elements of the project and how the teams came together? Yeah, so so thanks, Mark, for that. Uh, so when we got the project from OpenReach, the brief that we got was to build a system that is highly scalable and reliable while using the latest advancements in the software engineering. So uh, so we thought about it and we uh, discussed and agreed with OpenReach that in the, if we have to create something which is industry leading and one of its kind, we have to have the engagement to, uh, in a way that we set the right ways of working uh, from the beginning itself. And uh, what we agreed was the ground rules uh, that were choosing the best teams of architects, designers, and engineers, creating a work culture that is open, transparent, and flexible, where people are not afraid of challenging others and not afraid of experimenting, where people are have the desire to be best in class in everything that they do. And uh, from the business perspective, we have to ensure that there is to be zero disruption to business at all times. Uh, with that, with those ground rules set uh, in the uh, project, we had some of the best practices that we implemented from the beginning. So we had a joint architecture board to take key architectural decisions. Uh, we created designs that are future proof and had extensive design reviews. In fact, we spent uh, a lot of time in design reviews to ensure that we cover all the aspects and we uh, avoid any late rework because that would have been costly and time consuming. Uh, we implemented CI/CD from the beginning, uh, fully automated testing, uh, nightly automated builds and deployments. We were testing on the real life uh, data uh, using the gateway mirroring system, uh, where we would replicate all live transactions from uh, live environments to SRIMS test environment. We did uh, parallel deployment in phased and controlled manner. And we had automated monitoring with, in place with self-heal and uh, self-auto remediation features. That gave us, in fact, a lot of confidence uh, leading to the uh, deployment and eventual go live. So much so that uh, uh, our when uh, our uh, the date of final deployment came, uh, that weekend itself, 
countrywide lockdowns were announced because of the onset of covid uh, pandemic in march 2020 but because we were very confident of what team has created we deployed the system fully remotely working from our homes and we went live with uh, zero business disruptions and no major issues to users so thank you very much um, uh, for, for that explanation thank you to uh, to Kishore and Shamal and, and to Diraj so so maybe if i can just um go back to Shamal in terms of the uh, the results of the of the project now, where are you now and what are the next steps yeah i i, I would take it uh, so we have measured the success result of this transformation project where several different predefined business kpis a uh, few to call as rft improvements faster time to market uh, the enhanced customer experience and a reduced opex and capex cost i think across all these kpis i think once the shims got transformed and beforehand we have measured it and everything was on par shims being an in-house project we have offered it offers multifold benefit like os simplification through a logical inventory consolidation new transform product is ready for a future technology like an hdn it is also monitored using the elk and that's one of the best monitoring tool what we have got it it, it monitors real time the order transactions and proactively prevents us and and prompts us for any tackling shims ui is intuitive and is 70% faster than the legacy system we did a survey for over to close to 3000 users and 90% 97% of the users preferred open shims ui over a legacy system majorly improved are the network quality which is now reliable for all network operations it also offers closed loop planning to avoid break in the order fulfillment journey and that happened due to the gap into the plan and build process cost is optimized the network migrations are now simplified and os is driven it also offers the netops capability for the faster onboarding of an inventory um and and the rollout of a network devices via uh, the ossn network design tool which is a real time shims offer many more benefit but in the interest of time i've gone only few with this i must say that we as a team in open niche it and at tech mahindra have been successful in transforming the 15 year old business critical legacy inventory to a new age shiny in house open niche shims product thank you kishore so shamal what are the next steps in the project yeah so mark we have got very strong platform foundation for our futuristic oss tech we are in progress to enhance it in form of common capabilities across the product and diversified network solution we aim to give unified and seamless experience to our customer and network operation team we want our operation team to start focusing on end customer experience moving away from traditional network and system monitoring i must say that we are we are glad that along with futuristic network we are also building futuristic oss platform which will help open reach in achieving its vision well shamal that's great thank you so much for sharing this as a project with us thanks to kishore and diraj as well and and we look forward to hearing more about the future success of the project thank you